Good evening, friends. Welcome to Emmanuel Episcopal Church Online Community of Faith for this evening's Order of Compline. I'm very glad you're able to be with us for these last prayers of the day. We'll begin on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let's read together Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good, that you may do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye, Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The saint appointed for today, um, actually many saints, and it's a reminder that even in these days when we think the world is so divided, we think our country is divided, we think our communities are divided, we think the world is um, certainly struggling with, uh, with war and oppression um, all around the world, that our church was born, the Episcopal Church was born in a time of great conflict. Uh, the saints remembered for today are the martyrs of the Reformation era began with the Roman Catholic Church celebrating the 40 martyrs of England and Wales on May 5th. Men and women who were executed for treason between 1535 and 1679 for their allegiance to the Catholic Church. In recent years, the Anglican Church has shared this commemoration, broadening it to all of the English saints and martyrs of the Reformation era. This commemoration remembers not only Anglican martyrs like Thomas Cranmer, Hugh Latimer, and Nicholas Ridley, who died for their adherence to the Church of England, but also those Catholics who were killed by Anglicans, along with other Christians who are persecuted by their fellow Christians for their beliefs, most notably the Anabaptists and the Quakers. Sounds a little bit like it could be ripped from today's headlines, doesn't it? So let us pray their collect and keep the people struggling for faith and truth and Jesus' message in the world in our prayers as well. 
Almighty and most merciful God, give to your church that peace which the world cannot give, and grant that those who have been divided on earth may be reconciled in heaven and share together in the vision of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please take a moment and offer your intercessions and your thanksgivings. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Good night, friends. Rest well.